Hey ladies, it's Mocha Mommy here bringing you another video. And this video is just going to be a meal prep video. I'm prepping a couple of meals in advance, knowing that I have a work week where I'll probably be going in more than three days. So here are some of the things I'm doing. I got a value pack of dark meat chicken, which is a mix of legs and thighs. I'm going to pre-marinate those with some of the Goya seasonings. Now, I do think that some of the Goya seasonings, I do know, in fact, that at least the adobo has MSG. So if you want to go MSG free, um, choose a different spice rub. So what I'm going to do is take this value pack and split it between two meals. The first meal, I'm probably just going to put in the air fryer and serve it with some vegetables that I have here on hand. And the second meal, I'm going to refrigerate in a large pot. And this way, all I have to do is have uh, my family put it in the oven and I'll make a chicken casserole. So in the air fryer, I think is one of the best and easiest um, ways to prepare a meat when the day you buy it from the grocery store. It keeps the outside crispy, the inside juicy, and it's a really easy way to just prepare your side dish and then your meal is done without having to wash too many dishes, dirty up too many pans, and it's just a healthier way to enjoy that fried chicken flavor. The other meal I'm going to do is some sort of fajita. Now, here I have a few ingredients that are really common for beef. I have some Worcestershire sauce and a grilling spice that's really good for steak. And then I'll make sure that the meat is marinated, sliced already, and if I'm gonna put it on the grill, I won't slice it, but I do know that if I'm gonna put it in a pan or have a family member put it in a pan, that it's easier if it's just sliced up and thrown in a frying pan. And I'll make sure that this marinades because some of those tougher and less, less expensive cuts of meat, they actually benefit from being in the refrigerator for maybe a day or two. So I tend to, if I do, am serving some sort of red meat, I like to serve that maybe like the next day, chicken one day, because it takes less time to marinate versus a red meat. It's just better when it's marinated for a longer period of time. Um, so these are just ways that I'll have it. And I'll also make sure that the toppings for the fajita I'll have already sliced. So I'll slice up some of these snacking peppers that my family didn't get a chance to go through and I'll slice that up with another red bell pepper. I'll slice that up with some onions. That way they can just be thrown into a wok um, if I'll slice them larger, if I know that they're going to be going on grill and put them on a grill pan, but this is likely going to be cooked indoors because we're expecting a lot of rain this week. So I'll just throw these all together so they could just be thrown in a wok. Then I will probably get some cilantro and lettuce out of my garden. And that will be some of the toppings for the fajitas. I also have this chicken casserole, which will I'll put a one-to-one -one ratio of rice to liquid. So I'll put one cup of rice with a cup of broth or two cups of rice with a cup of broth and a cup of wine. And that makes the whole casserole more flavorful. Then on top of that, I'll put just a bag of frozen vegetables and then I'll put the seasoned chicken. This, and then I'll put this in a casserole pan, a large cast iron pot, stick this in the refrigerator. So day one will be the air fried chicken, day two will be the steak fajitas, and day three will be the casserole. Only thing these meals require very little once they're already sliced and ready to go. I'll also have two servings of overnight oats. It's just easy sometimes to have breakfast ready to go. And I'll probably do a green juice for one of those days. I'll probably just go to the garden and pick out some green vegetables, add an apple and a lemon to it, and that'll be it. So these are just some quick, easy meal prep tips that I hope help you have a great week. This is Mocha Mommy, and I'll see you in the next video.